sometimes when I look at the video, I, I don't even think it's me. And then sometimes I open the videos and I can feel the hits that um, that's been thrown at me like it was yesterday. The more that I watch it, the more than I, that I realize that I am doing the right thing. Because this is in, it's not human. This, you can't do this to any other person. Nicolene Swart was brutally abused by her husband in 2018. She worked with her husband at the Wright Wheels car dealership in Pretoria, where CCTV captured the beatings inside the office as customers browsed the vehicles outside for sale. After these horrendous visuals were revealed this week, the public has been outraged that Yaku Swat only received a 20,000 rand fine and a three-year suspended sentence by the Pretoria Magistrates Court, essentially meaning he could walk free. We spoke with Nicolene to find out her reaction to the sentencing and the assaults she had to endure. At the end, I just felt like a zombie, just going with the flow, going with the hits, just just praying that I will make the day through. And the last day, um, or the last two days were just hectic because on the 15th, he like threatened me with my life or he explained to me in detail how he wants to do it and how he hates me. And then the day of the 18th, when he wanted to get me back in that office, it was just um, fearing for my life. And I thought I need to get out there. So that, that was his technique. He will um, get you into the office, close the door. And the office was already very dark inside. But yeah, obviously when he saw people on the floor walking around, getting busy, he switched off the main lights. So no one noticed what's happening inside. But to be honest, I don't even know how many times in that last three months that happened. Well, because I went to the police that stage, they only recovered those footage. Um, but yeah, there was uh, plenty more times, which was exactly like that. I think in myself, I was just terrified what, what, what will happen if I go into that same office and he locked me in there. I was just seeing how I'm dying today. That was just the last. The verdict was read, I was not happy at all. It's heartbroken. It was very heartbroken. Although the judge did um, had a whole speech about GBV and gender-based violence epidemic, he still did this slap on the wrist sentence for this guy. And to be honest, if I didn't have this footage, what about the people that did, don't have this? And if you have the evidence, it's not even shown in court. There was no fight. There was no um, any push, despite it being possible uh, by the state to get this video evidence um, included. We believe strongly that had that magistrate had sight of that surveillance footage, had he witnessed, just like the public have now witnessed, he would have come to a very different um, uh, in, in idea of what a just sentence is for Yaku Swart, and we believe it would have been a custodial sentence. He said he had um, counselling and all, a whole lot of stuff, but where's the report showing that people, where's the proof that they are telling, listen here, this guy is actually better than he was. I needed to know that because according to me, I've been with him a long time and I've been through all his stuff, so I know him. He doesn't just change overnight. I'm just finally at peace so this is handled and I can, my voice is out there. I'm at peace that my voice is out there and people know. This can, this is now one, one tick off my list. The next will be dealing with the divorce and settling that then everything he is or was from me is done with. I just need to have my voice out there and tell everyone else that speak up. Speak up and get out. There is a life after it. There is.